Hi everyone, welcome to another week of the Sun Bookshop Recommends. Um, this week I'm going to recommend The Silent Listener by Lynn Yowett. Um, debut thriller novel. Um, I am going to give it a little bit of a content warning at the top of this recommendation just because um, some of the content of this novel is quite uh, graphic and might be triggering for some people. Um, it deals with a lot of issues about domestic abuse and um, childhood abuse. So uh, you can skip forward a couple of minutes <laughs> if you don't want to listen to that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll start my recommendation now. So as I said, debut novel, uh, The Silent Listener, it focuses on the character of Joy Henderson, who returns to her small rural town to um, nurse her dying father. And while she's there in the sort of rundown farmhouse that she grew up in, she starts having reflections on her childhood um, and you slowly learn about the sort of dual personalities that her father had. So she's gone back to nurse him in his dying days, yet she's remembering how much of a, essentially a monster he was during her childhood. And then you also get the story of um, her, the early years of her parents' marriage. So you get these beautifully written intertwining stories of how this, the character of her father is just this overarching, almost dark shadow that runs through her life and her mother's life. Um, and then just to throw another aspect into it, there's a, a young girl goes missing um, who is very good friends with Joy. And um, you sort of then also follow the mystery of what happened to Wendy. And um, it's just written in such a way that you're, it's addictive. You're reading it and you can't stop reading it, but you also can't catch a breath because of it's so intense. Um, I ripped through it, really, really enjoyed it. But as I said, it does have some quite um, intense uh, aspects to it that um, not ev won't be for everybody, but it's a great almost Australian rural Gothic novel. And um, yeah, so that's, the Silent Listener for fans of some pretty gripping crime. <laughs> That's me. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about Andrew McGann's book, The Rich Man's House, which I read a couple of years ago when it first came out. It's now come out into the small, cheap, amazing format. Woo! Anyway, The Rich Man's House is just a fantastic page-turning thriller. It is a little bit science fiction. It's about a woman who was estranged from her very world-famous architect father. He has gone to, he went to work for one of the richest men in the world who has also conquered the largest mountain in the world. Now, it's a fictional mountain. It's called the Wheel, and it's off the coast of Tasmania. And he he's the only man in the world to have got to the top of that mountain. He's also incredibly, incredibly wealthy. And he decides to get the architect to make his home in the mountain. So the architect has done that, and he has died at the mountain while his, while his place was being built or at the end of that place being built. The rich man makes the daughter come to his mountain. She doesn't want to go there and he coerces her to come. He says he needs to see her at the place where her father dies. You get there and things start going very, very, very weird in this isolated mountain with these strange people, this man who believes that he can conquer anything. And it's so good. And it is, I think, Andrew McGann wrote this book when he was dying. And I think part when I read it, I felt that part of the book is you can have as much money as you want, but you can't change nature. And one of those things is death. And it's a great book. Highly recommend it. Australian book by the fabulous Andrew McGann. Um, read it. Miles Franklin winner. 
He was, not this one, but he was. It should, it should have won. Okay, thank you. I loved it. I hope that you do too. And thanks for listening to us. Hope I didn't rub it up too much. And bye. Bye. <laughs>